Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way Manchester United 3, Betis TV 2. Um, yeah, this is a, a game which um, I don't know if the results does matter to you guys, but I personally, I think no. I think tactically uh, United with the young thing that we have, we uh, did produce uh, some good combinations, by the way. But, you know, in this video, I just want to tell you guys the, the positives and also the negatives. You know what, let's just start with the, the positives. I think, I mean, because most of you will watch maybe two, three minutes. The positive of this video is that where a new star has been has emerged. Actually, the star emerged since last season, end of last season. That was Ahmad. Uh, my um, total feeling, my God is telling me Ahmad will be a very important uh part of the uh, uh, uh will play a very important part of the season uh, because uh, uh i think this guy is uh, generally a very talented young kid guys uh click a like on the video if you do accept on that i think Ahmad he caused the penalty he scored a goal he is there in all the actions and uh, he is a player which uh, will actually make uh, united fans uh, proud this season I also think that Amas, yes, he had his inexperienced period, but his combination, his willingness to, to take risk as a defender, you know, going forward. Yes, there's one of those goals that came through him losing concentration, but, you know, he's a kid. But I think they should keep Amas. I I think this, this also um, Kolia, Toby Kolia, uh, the midfielder, who is seen to be one of the most aggressive players in the um, <coughs> in his generation, and his tenacity also never uh, uh, keeps him uh, quiet in the way he plays, if you see what I mean. But uh, I think, yeah, that's uh, one of the biggest, biggest, those are the few uh, positives. And also, if you think winning the game against Betis was a positive, then I, I respect your opinion. But these games don't matter. These are just pre-seasons. pre, -seasons. pre -seasons are not really made for getting results. Um, pre seasons are made, uh, actually organized to keep players a little bit uh, physically fit before the season starts. Look, from uh, I mean, we are a month away to the end of the transfer window. We haven't done our main signings. And we are a month away. We are a couple of days away the to the, the to the charity shield right uh and uh, we have lost two of our main players and uh, that's lenny euro and uh, also rasmus holland uh there will be updates guys and most of you who are just joining will do a live stream a little bit later and expand on this but lenny euro is said to be out to be out for our, at least uh, two months uh two three months that is a tough, tough one. It's very difficult to buy a player for such a sum, young player, an important um, um, part of the puzzle, and he doesn't take part in the beginning of the season. It is just, it's just the, it's just the wrong way to start a career in a club where the hopes were all over the roof. This, I mean, I don't just, I don't just know what to say. And uh, also, you have someone like Rasmus. If you, if you think this results. This, uh, this, sorry, not the results, but the players are not important. There is only way that can, there's only one way that can confirm the absence of these players to make it, I mean, to limit their, their influence of their absence. It will be if United are drilled to play a certain way. And um, that might help us. I, from what I watched in the game with the, um, Betty Seville, by the way, guys, we're not doing watch alongs. Yeah, for now, maybe when we get a bigger community. Look, uh, I think, um, honestly saying, um, honestly speaking, I would say United have to play a certain way before, uh, before, uh, b uh, a certain way. United have to play a certain way, right? And I, I can see the glimpse of that, us playing that certain way, you know? And honestly, um, when you look, what I've noticed, I don't know if you guys have noticed, Marcus Rashford has been a little bit, has switched a lot his game. He's becoming more and more collective. And uh, I and uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed that because uh, firstly, Marcus Rashford before right previously I would say uh, Marcus Rashford used to play for himself, but if you watch very carefully the way Rashford plays these days, you agree with me? He's trying to be very trying to be a more collective, and this is what we want. If I have said this on many times on the streams uh, that uh, you know. United, the, the, this season will be judged on for Ten, Terag, Ten Hag on the way we have to play. That's why you see we are fighting for Mazuri coming in. Uh, no, players who are more offensive, players that can be dangerous. You can see Amas trying to be offensive. I think the, the, I think the message there is that Manchester United are going in for a more offensive season. 
some games in the season, I think we are, the, the results will matter because we will have to play. We will have to prove to the world that we have a different playing style. So I think that's where the biggest the, the catcher will be for Manchester United. And also Rasmus Holland, which is our attacker, the, the main guy. We know that Joshua Jeski hasn't started training yet. He has started training, hasn't started training with the team. And uh, it's a bit, it's a complicated one. It's a tough one. We, I mean, I just don't know how uh, we will start. And guys, you must not re- forget that it is very important that United starts the season well. If not, we can, if we play three games and we have lost, we have drawn just one loss too, it becomes a huge problem for Eric Tenat. You know the English media won't give this guy a second. So um, I'm really worried about this transfer. That's why uh, we just... Uh, Messages are out. Uh, Joan Neves has just signed for Paris Saint-Germain. We hopefully we can get the loan deal at least for this season for uh, Ogate, someone who brings a not something new in the midfield. Because look, when I see, when I think of that, uh, that we'll be having um, uh, Magwe in the defense. I think we'll be uh, having Linda Love in the defense. It, it, it really makes me sick, honestly. Because when you look at someone like Magui, Magui and Lindelof, we will not play high line. Hence, we'll be, we, we, counter-attacking would also be difficult. So, uh, we're in the, uh, United are uh, in between a, a rock and a hard place. But, uh, but we need to make uh, proper decisions. Those decisions are there made to be made. We need to make them. So, hopefully, I think we will come out with a solution. Uh, our board will do, try to find some way to solve that. But overall, the game, uh, the tournament, the preseason, I would say th- this year has been very un- unmotivating to say the least. I'm happy that I'm not there. Let me not say I'm happy that I'm not there. Let me say but I, I'm lucky that I'm not there because, you know, preseason has to be like a festival. It shouldn't be like a graveyard. And for our Manchester United uh, presently, presently, considering that um, our two main players are not playing, considering that I mean, I injured. I considering that we are not yet making the key signings that we want. This August needs to uh, things needs to change. We're on the first of August, and uh, things have to improve. And um, yeah, so um, in general, I, I think as I said, Ahmad. I think I don't I don't use the man of the match thing, but I think the players like Ahmad, Ahmad, uh, uh, and also um, um. Kobitolia, uh, these are players which uh, we are hoping they can uh, make us proud as United fans. But but I don't really see any progress, any progress in terms of uh, our older players. Players Harry Maguire will be Harry Maguire, play safe. I mean, certain players like Aaron Wan Bissaka, I don't think he will get better going forward. So we'll be very happy when if these deals happen. By the way, I think these deals like deals like Aaron Wan Bissaka must happen, and we'll we'll talk a lot on that on the on the stream today. So um, yes, well, United won. Uh, Betis three goals to two. Uh, goals called by Marcus Rashford, Ahmad, and. Uh, um, uh, Casemiro and well a victory is a victory I would take that but uh, let's see how the days come up uh, come for, through as we have to we must start doing that sign- signings guys drop your comments below tell me what you think about the game if you watched it watch the highlights also or maybe you watched uh, the pre- a preview of the game tell me what you think and uh, drop your comments below I would like to read and reply that but for now see you at um, uh, today morning on our stream live stream talk to you soon bye bye